I'm Bob Harris, president of the Decorative Concrete Institute. A real popular application in the field of decorative concrete happens to be what we refer to as a spray down system. There is a variety of different things that you can do after you spray it down, such as a knockdown finish, but one of the primary tools that you'll use is something that we refer to as a hopper gun. Now, there's a wide variety of hopper guns available in today's marketplace, so this is just one example. A couple of observations. Think about it, if you're spraying your material, your cement-based topping, onto a horizontal plane, your hopper has got to be in a vertical or an upright position. So in order for that to occur, you need a 90 degree elbow right here. If you just had a straight piece, think about it, the hopper gun would be in this fashion. So you need to really make sure that your hopper gun has the 90 degree little elbow so this stays upright. Um, the way that this tool works, it does take compressed air. So we'll hook our, hook our uh, air feed right to the, to the uh, to the nipple right here, and it also has a trigger that you can see here. Now, if you notice, on this particular style of hopper gun, it has many different orifice sizes. And what I mean by that is, if I take this little nut loose and I turn it, it's going to, and I put it, say, for example, over here, it's going to spray less volume. So the bigger the hole, the more volume of your spray down system is going to be sprayed out of this material, out of this hopper gun. Um, this happens to be a self-contained unit. It's an it's a actual air compressor that's self-contained, specifically designed for spraying materials like this. You don't have to use a self-contained system. You can simply buy the, the hopper gun by itself and then use your own air compressor and attach it. Let's show you how it works. And one last tip before we do that, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and make sure that it's spraying properly. One way that I'll do that is I'll spray, I'll put water in here. Now you'll hear it turn on. That's normal. I'll hook it up. Put a little bit of water in there. And spray it down. That's not a bad idea anyways, because what we've done, in essence, is we've primed our unit. We've pre-wet the whole uh, hopper, and we've wet the, the um, actual gun itself. So now that when we put our, our cement-based uh, spray down system, it's going to pass through the gun very efficiently. Let's show you how it works with an actual cement-based topping. This is what we call a splatter down uh, finish. A lot of times what the applicators will do is they'll create what we call a knockdown finish. It's great to use a pool trowel. If you use a square edge, it could uh, um, drag the material, but you're just kind of flattening it down is all you're doing. And this is a nice finish around a pool deck, for example, where you flat, flatten off the tip. So it's a... Uh, much nicer for the clients to walk across something smooth as opposed to real coarse like this. And this is the knockdown finish. Remember, to get the most out of your tools, use them properly, and more importantly, use them safely. I'm Bob Harris.